Hello, Hopkins to Middle School. Welcome to HMS Today. I'm your host, Christian Sullivan. Now, let's start out with some shoutouts. So, we got email this week. Shout out to Nolan, because we think you're lit. And Thomas, thanks so much. You're fantastic. And Raymond, you're the best, and don't let anyone ever tell you otherwise. Thanks, guys. You made our day. Now, let's have some segments. But first, look at this quick video of what the 7th grade design and modeling class made with their 3D printers. Really cool, and I want one of those, please. Anyways, let's check in with Fun Fact Friday and look closely. Good morning, and welcome to another edition of Fun Fact Friday. Today's edition is going to be all about women. Did you know that two of the highest IQ scores in recorded history belong to women? Also, the earliest known female physician lived in ancient Egypt around 2700 BC. Also, Right here in Boston, the first women's medical school in the United States opened in 1848. Also, last fun fact, is that women earn more than 60% of all college degrees in the United States. That's it for now, folks. Make it a great day, be kind to one another, and read a great book. Now let's check in with question of the day. Today we're asking, Saying ye all day. Watching a scary movie. Playing games on my phone. Think about how I was on HMS TV. Watch the office. <laughs> Snacking oh, on some pineapples. Relax and eat candy. I play basketball. Eat candy. Eat candy. Soccer game. Eating snacks, taking down Halloween decorations, and probably sports. Relax and play video games. Play video games. Hang out with friends. Playing video games. Thanks to everyone who answered. And now it's a brand new segment we're calling Showcase. Today Mrs. Brum is going to show us some art creative at HMS students and tell us all about it. All right, so hi, I'm Mrs. Brummett. I am the media arts teacher here. And I'm going to share with you today a new project that I just completed with my eighth graders. And what we are looking at here, this artwork is called a cinemagraph. And as you can see, what makes a cinemagraph a special work of art is that part of it is moving and part of it is frozen. So they tend to have a very um, eye-catching quality to them, sort of an otherworldly quality. Um, the other portion that this group worked on was to create an atmosphere in their cinemagraph. So these group members are Ivanya Mather, um, Kate Lindy, and Peyton Gould. And their atmosphere that they're communicating in their cinemagraph is a spooky, creepy atmosphere. Um, this is Paige Hughes and Camille Bianchi. And again, you can see one portion's frozen, one portion is moving, and their atmosphere that they were conveying was a joyful mood. So you can see Kate or um, Camille is jumping for joy here. So that's the project that we just finished in Media Arts. Okay, so now I want a mini let it pumpkin, and I also want to be in a cinemagraph. Well, I hope for that. Let's roll the birthday scroll. Happy birthday, everybody. Hey, do you know what a contronym is? Me neither, but let's find out. So, a contronym is a word that is its own opposite. For example, dust. When you dust, are you adding it or removing it? It depends whether you're dusting the crops or the furniture. And off means deactivated, as in turn off the lights, but also activated, as in the alarm went off. Crazy stuff. Do you know any contronyms? Email them to us. We'd love to share. All right, got it. We'll look for your emails. And Googling it doesn't count. So don't do that. You won't feel good about yourself. Lastly, it's have you seen this. Good job, Isabella. You're this week's winner. For the rest of you, here's a picture of somewhere in HMS. Have you seen this? Email us where it is. And for the correct responses, we'll pick a winner for a candy-filled water bottle. And by the way, if you visit our website, you'll find a second have you seen this. So two chances for you to win. And that's it for our show. Tell us anything at HMSTV at Hillers.org. And visit our website, HMS.today. Thanks for watching. Way too fast, okay? Oh, yeah. So should I do it again? For what? Anyways, let's check in with Mrs. Brum. 
Mm. I messed it up. Now I want a mini light up. Oh, wait. Huh? Can we redo that? We'll look for emails. And Google. Oh, that kind of messed it up. Good job. Thank you.